Hi everyone, um, just thought I'd talk through the circuit I've been working on for the last few days. Um, this is a dub siren, uh, which apparently has been used frequently in reggae music for uh, for, for bloody ages. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm not really reading up on my information properly, I confess to that. Um, but let me just talk through the circuit board. Um, the circuit diagram and, and what this is kind of disposed of. Alright, it's made from three chips. The first chip is a 555 timer. Second one is a 741 operational amplifier. The third one is an LM555, so it's two 555 timers and an operational amplifier. So it's it's not it's not horrendously complicated. Um, the first one, you can see that it's 550k here. The timing capacitor on this is 47 UF, so it's a, I'd call that a big-ish capacitor. Um, on the other side, uh, this is 150 nanofarads. So that's, uh, I, I, I don't know, that's, that's like, uh, but this one is much smaller than this one. This means that this is higher oscillations than this side, in a nutshell. Um, and as you can see, uh, this one, it's got some other stuff which is optional. Actually, this changes the uh, waveform a little bit on the output. Um, and we've got connected to the ground on the reset. Um, but this one on the discharge uh, from pin 6 the discharge from pin 6 which is connected to this there is a 50k potentiometer which if I'm not mistaken will create oh god I don't think I think it's actually a triangle triangle um, triangle wave I'd have to check this on the oscilloscope though, uh, which you can adjust here, which should adjust the waveform, although I cannot see the difference for the life of me. But this one comes out and it goes into the pin 3 of the LM741 uh, operational amplifier, which then amplifies the operation. Mm. It's got some, um, is that positive feedback? That's a plus. That's negative. No, I think that's negative feedback on it. So that that that, that does something, and it feeds into the control voltage. You now you can hear this when you actually play it. Um, the sound of this it makes whatever noise this goes. So if this bit is going low, um, so it's and so it's up and down. And this is the other thing which comes in. All right, let's have a little bit look more on this side. On this side, you can see a PT2399 um, reverberation circuit board module thing. I know, I I love these things. Uh, I think they're the great the greatest thing ever. You know, this this little red board is. It, it, you know, you stick it on any old circuit at the end of it and it makes it sound lovely. Um, but what makes it sound really lovely is this here. So we've got a button, we've got a 10 UF capacitor, we've got a 50k capacitor, um, um, a 50k potentiometer, a 47 nanofarad polarized capacitor, um, Mm. Ah, slurping tea on a YouTube video, can't beat it. But it's connected down to ground. Um, so what, what this does is normally, normally it'll come through and it'll work its way through the uh, 4 point, uh, uh, 47 nanofarad. And this will filter some of the, um, this is higher or lower frequencies, it's, it's one of them. Essentially, this is a filter which then gets bypassed. This bypasses the filter, thus making it lots, lots louder 
and also changing the sound which comes through it because it's a different there is a bit of filtration here but uh, a 10 uf capacitor because it's much larger will let through a wider variety of sounds you know um so it, it takes it's it's only very low frequencies which won't get through this whilst it's moderately low frequencies which won't get through that um, and then it connects to ground so yeah um, what else so you just press that button and bish bash bosh sound changes uh, so let's, uh, let's let's go back and see if there's anything else which I haven't really looked at oh yeah we've got an optional LED cycle indicator so as you can see there is a 68k uh, resistor here so it's quite a large resistor which is hooked into um, an uh, NPN transistor um, so this is basically an electronic switch um, not very much current goes through this so it's not really going to affect the rest of the circuit too much but it should indicate whether this is positive or negative and it will display it through there so when this is positive this becomes positive that becomes positive and that switches on so it's amplifying the signal which goes through here um, and Q3 yeah Right, let me see. Is there anything I've missed out here? Um, I tell you, uh, oh, you know, I'm not entirely sure on this bit. I know it changes the waveform a little bit. It kind of clips it so it's the other side. Mm. Um, we've got the the 220 UF um, capacitor in there.